Welcome to All About the Brand Podcast. I'm Courtney Sargent Sr. bringing you the best advice and strategies for building your personal brand and living your American dream. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm very excited about this episode. It's gonna be power packed. Got a lot of information that I wanna give you guys. So this episode is for you if you want to use your expertise to build a personal brand or start a business, or if you already have a personal brand that you want to take to the next level and do it the right way. OK, and you can even use these four steps to reinvent yourself or change your identity or just start over completely. Now, the four steps I'm going to give you today are part of a larger framework I created called Brand Building 101, which is a step by step guide on how you can take your business idea or personal brand from concept to reality. These 12 steps are the exact steps I've used to launch seven of my own businesses. Yes, seven. <laughs> I've been at this for over a decade now, uh, 11 years, and I've helped countless entrepreneurs get their personal brands off the ground. And I've even used it in the corporate sector when I've rebranded corporations and large companies. So let's jump right in with the first step. Number one is to become self-aware. Now, I've said it before and I'll keep on saying it. The number one key to personal branding success is self-awareness. Listen, it's called personal branding, not other people branding. <laughs> it's about packaging your unique brilliance and presenting that to the world in a way that benefits others. Right. Like knowing yourself will help you live out your fullest potential as an entrepreneur and human being. It's absolutely vital for you to know your gifts, your skills, strengths, weaknesses, abilities, even your little quirks and, and everything else about you, right? Knowing yourself will empower you to be successful as a personal brand, as a creator, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a fill in the blank. You understand what I'm saying? So to help you become more self-aware, I recommend you take these three self-awareness exercises that I created, which will identify what makes you unique and how you can use that to uh, create the building blocks for your personal success. I'll leave a link to the free PDF in the video description below. Emphasis on free, okay? You don't have to pay for this. Okay, the second step is to define your target audience. Now, I have an entire video episode on the three R's of building a dedicated audience for your personal brand. So if you wanna go deeper on this specifically, click the card above or the link in the description. It's packed with a lot of dope strategies. When you know exactly who your audience is, you drastically increase your chances of reaching your goals in business and your creative journey uh, with your personal brand and your career and even your hobby as well. You got to know who you're talking to, right? You, you have to know um, because if you don't know who you're talking to, if you don't know who you're selling to, you're not going to sell and not selling in a traditional sense only because we're all selling. It's just that some of us aren't, you know, collecting money, right? But we're all selling all the time. You reveal your audience by becoming a specialist and serving a niche. You reach your audience by showing up and going where they are. And you relate to your audience by speaking their language, getting them involved, asking for that feedback and giving them what they want. It's not always about you and what you want. All right. It's as simple as that, to be honest with you. Now, I know that a lot of people recommend building a persona with demographics and psychographics and all kind of graphics. <laughs> and that's helpful at a certain point. Um, and I would recommend that you do that, but it's not always necessary. Just start with these three R's and you build upon that, especially when you're just starting out and you don't have all of that information. You don't know exactly who your target audience is and it can be kind of nebulous sometimes. Um, because you don't have that historical data. So my advice is to just start small. You know what I'm saying? Just think about who will benefit most from your product, your service, your message, or your content, and write that down and go after those people. So just keep it simple. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know. Thanks. Step number three is to develop your positioning statement. Now, this is one of my favorite things to do. Basically, a positioning statement, if you've never heard of it, it's a one liner that says who you are, what you do and what value you provide to people. It's basically an abbreviated elevator pitch that can be used in many different ways. And to make writing your positioning statement simple, I've created a specific formula that you can follow what you do plus who you do it for 
plus their benefit equals your positioning statement. Okay. Now let me give you an example. This is for a fake landscaping company. I just came up with this. Here's their positioning statement. We transform lawns and landscapes for residents to enjoy their outdoor experiences. Okay. We transform lawns and landscapes for residents to enjoy their outdoor experiences. The what you do part is we transform lawns and landscapes. You can also think about that as in one word, we transform. The who you do it for part is residents, right? That's the people, the people you serve. The benefit part is they enjoy their outdoor experiences. So does that make sense? We transform lawns and landscapes for residents to enjoy their outdoor experiences. Let me give you another example. This is my personal positioning statement. I teach entrepreneurs how to build their personal brand and live their American dream. The what you do part is I teach. The who you do it for part is entrepreneurs. And the value part is living their American dream. That's the, the benefit part. And it's very simple when you break it down like that. It's really easy to understand. So I, I hope that was helpful for you. Now, I also have another video. If you click the card above, you can check out that video on uh, positioning statement. But basically, your positioning statement is an abbreviated elevator pitch. OK, we're almost there. Step number four is to create your visual brand. Now, this is what people think about when they think about branding, the stuff you see. Now, this is what I call your identity system, your brand identity system. This is where your personal brand comes to life. You create you create your collateral, your assets that you need and launch and market yourself on an ongoing basis. First up is the brand theme. The theme of your brand will dictate the look and feel of all the design elements of your visual brand. Is your brand corporate? Is it whimsical, serious, earthy, militant or fun or minimalistic? You see what I'm going with this? So that's it's really the overall look and feel of your brand. OK, so arguably the most important part of your visual brand is your logo. And this is the cornerstone of every brand. And a lot of people, again, think of this as the brand, but it's it's a big piece of the brand. You also need a color palette. You'll need typography, which is basically your font. And typography is actually one of the most overlooked things, but it's one of the most important things because it's the thing that people see the most It's the font. And also the last thing in today's digital environment, you got to have a website, right? You got to have a website that reflects your personality and works for your cause, whatever that may be, because it is the only thing that you really truly own on the internet. Your website is your home on the internet. Okay. All right. That's all the time that I have for today. But uh, listen, just as I mentioned in the beginning, these four steps are part of a 12 step branding system called brand building 101. I've used this framework many, many times um, for myself, for other brands, for corporate brands and, uh, and many, many other people. If you're interested in it, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. Until next time, I'm Courtney Sargent Sr. Wishing you all of the success you're willing to attract into your life. Let's make it better by going up together. I love you, my friend. Peace out.